Good day everyone, so hope you're doing really well. One of the things that I've always talked about on this channel is the fact that Genshin doesn't give us enough variety in terms of endgame content to properly showcase different teams and different characters with, their, with regards to their relative strengths and weaknesses. And once again, it falls to the limited time combat events like the one here running in Simulanka to really give us a proper sense of how different characters have an advantage versus using others in the same team. So a good example here is the Needle Bloom team. If I decided to use Nehida instead of the Dendro Traveler, then my score would have been significantly lower. And that's just because Nehida herself, whilst being very, very good, is much better suited for if the enemies were, let's say, of a very, very high level, and it took me longer than two seconds to beat an enemy. That's, that's when Nehida really becomes valuable. But because you can't apply her Dendro as often in such a wide area as you can with the Dendro Traveler, as you can see here, she obviously will fall behind in this type of content. So this doesn't mean that Nehida is bad. In fact, in something like the Spiral Abyss, where you've got one or two big bulky enemies every 10 to 15 15 seconds, Nehida is much better than the Dendro MC, but in events like these where it's like pure AoE and it's just about the constant like Dendro and Hydra application and how you tactically put that up, you can clearly see what the advantages and disadvantages are. Even things like Kokomi's Jellyfish, which a lot of people said in the past was like so problematic because it doesn't move with you, you can even understand in a game mode like this how advantageous it is because what I do is I put the jellyfish down, it takes care of the little mini mobs which allows me to spawn the big helical mobs and because I'm on the other side of the map away from where my jellyfish is, I can actually bait that helical to come dashing towards me and instead of them putting up a shield which will make it a lot more difficult to beat, they're continuously taking damage as they're running across the field which is just another little bit of an advanced combat tactic. You see, that's the variety that I'm looking for, is how can the enemies and the stage effects and the layouts and all of these things really drive the meta for what is effective in that game mode, rather than just, well, it's always just a boss rush in the abyss. This is the, this is what I want, and this is why I love events like this, because you get a real sense of how your teams start playing out over long extended rotations, and even more so, it really does start to test your ability to do proper cooldown management, to be aware of what the team's like damage cycle is and how you should weave in certain abilities and when you should break that cycle, when you should come back into that cycle. There's, there's so much more that it's just opening up in terms of the gameplay and the fun experience. I mean, if, if something like this were one of, say, five different variety modes that they gave us in the Imaginarium Theatre with characters of our choice, subject obviously to some certain limits and stuff, then I think Imaginarium Theatre would have been so much more fun. Like, I mean, this in and of itself is just more dynamic. The music, the fact that you've got a little buff there on the top of the screen that you need to utilize, otherwise you need to, like, rebuild it up from scratch. It's, it's all of the these little teeny tiny things that, that can make the experience so much more fun. And that's why I constantly want to highlight these combat modes. I want people to tell Hoyo, hey, this is an example of a good thing. I want to see more of this. I want to see this as permanent content, not some untested Imaginarium Theatre, which was basically disliked by about 80% of the community. So yeah, that is what I've got to say all about all of this. It's it's just fun. It's just fun to be able to stress test your teams because it, it does work. I think the only improvements I would suggest is that Hoyo allows us to up the um, enemy HP a bit more or perhaps like increase or decrease crowd density, like make it a real fun experience like the um, teapot. So after you've completed the mandatory modes, have an open mode where players can craft or just like have a couple of more levers to push because this in of itself gives that variety. It, it, it helps the longevity of the mode and it encourages us to really experiment with different characters and to start seeing exactly where characters work, what are some of the hidden synergies that would come to life that would not be able to come to life because of the format of the abyss, etc, etc. And this leads me into my next point and that is that Genshin Impact in and of itself is losing new player market share. So basically the 
TLDR behind this is that Genshin is not getting as many new players into its game as it did in the past, precisely because the gacha market is becoming ever more saturated and given the availability of even alternative Hoyo titles, it's a lot harder for Genshin to stand out just by creating new characters or just like wooing new players with new regions. So this leaves us as all the players to really start being in a position of demanding how we want the game to be curated, otherwise Genshin is just going to keep things as they always are doing and nothing is going to move and I say this because I can see it I can see the attempts that the developers are making to try and get more and more new players but they probably should know as well players aren't going to play the game with if you've got limited storage space on your phone if you've got limited time so what Genshin has to offer is not more eye candy but perhaps a reason to keep on playing because if you aren't getting as many new players then bleeding all the players is really I think starting to kind of hit hit home which is where we're finding ourselves in which of course pre presents a beautiful opportunity for us to start engaging with Hoyo and encouraging them to put in modes like these but yeah that's it what I've got to say from my side uh, thank you guys so much for watching and hopefully you also enjoy this combat event mode cheers